Bashir, the explosion that caused your blindness also damaged the peripheral sensory nerves behind your eyes. We've localized the source of your pain to the ophthalmic nerve. It provides sensation to the area. The damage to the nerve endings from the blast are causing it to transmit a faulty electrochemical pain signal to your brain. You've tried pharmaceuticals to dampen that signal, but we feel your body has likely built a resistance to them. This happens. We'd like to try a new technique we're developing with what we're calling electroceuticals. We want to implant this tiny electronic inhibitor on the ophthalmic nerve in order to try to override that pain signal. Uh, how big of a procedure is it? It's a minor surgery. We don't foresee any risks. We can have a procedure room prepared and do it this afternoon. That sounds amazing. Honey. I don't see things getting much worse. That is it. Bashir, the implantation went very well. Now we're ready to test it. OK. This app controls the intensity of stimulation of the inhibitor, which we can eventually install on your cell phone. What's your pain scale? Uh, about a seven. OK. Tell me if you experience any change. No. How about now? It, it's less. <laughs> the pain's less. What number? Uh, four, maybe a three. Now? Less. Oh my god. It's a miracle. Oh, oh my god. Sergeant Masood. Bashir. Yeah, I, you okay? Uh, I, I saw a flash of light. I, I saw light. What do you mean you saw? For the first time since I went blind, I, uh, I saw light. How is that possible? Well, I'm not sure. We think it might be possible to develop a technology to activate your optic nerve digitally. Are you... You're saying he might be able to see again? Not with his eyes. He'd wear goggles equipped with cameras that would process images digitally. But, yes, he would see. Oh, my God. I want to manage your expectations. This is highly experimental. I understand. It's just that this is amazing. No, thank you. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've had 12 surgeries over the last five years. I've spent a lot of time in hospitals. I'm done being a guinea pig. Maybe we just need a little bit of time to let this sink in. What do you think is behind him not wanting to do this retinal implant? Honestly, it's been hard. Being in chronic pain, it wears on him. And lately, he's been so irritable. Well, I understand. He wakes up in these sweats, and he can't go back to sleep, and he has these intense mood swings. One minute he's fine, the next he's just impossible. Natalie, do you keep track of how much pain medication Bashir is taking? I used to, but he said it felt like I was babying him. A lot of the behavior you're experiencing, cold sweats, mood swings, are all symptoms of dependence on pain medication. What are you suggesting, Dr. Brockett? It is very, very common and understandable, especially for someone who's been in chronic pain as long as you have. It's treatable, and it's something we can absolutely I'm not a damn with. pill popper, Dr. Brockett. I don't take any of those pills. I hate pills. The pain I've been having, the symptoms, they're from not taking any pills. Do you want to know why I don't want the surgery? I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to see. Bashir, you served our country. You protected us. You deserve to see. You're a hero. Bashir, it's... It's okay. We were protecting our position on an enemy line. I was on a post for 10 hours straight. I asked to be relieved. Sergeant John Howard relieved me. One of my best friends. He took my post. And a mortar shell exploded 
right on us. I lost my eyes. He lost everything but his eyes. My pain is nothing compared to what he went through. He won't ever walk again. Are you sure it's not your fault? That was my mortar shell. Not his. Hey, dumbass. Long time. Who is it? Well, it's me. Your ears broke too. Johnny? Yeah. One of your doctors called. What are you doing here? Well, I'm gonna here to see you, brother. It's a long time. You don't write, you don't call. Johnny. I should have been on that turret. Yeah, you should have. You should have just peed your pants instead of taking a bathroom break. Where's your dedication? Everything we stand for. Having each other's back, protecting each other. And I let you take that mortar from me. So wait, wait, wait. That's why you don't want to have this operation? You don't deserve to see because of what you did to me. <clears throat> Do you know how freaking stupid that sounds? Get over yourself. It wasn't your mortar. It wasn't my mortar. It was the guys who were trying to kill us. It was their mortar. So let these doctors do their miracle surgery. Then you can come and see me in Albuquerque and you'll see me with your own eyes. And you know what you'll see? You see that I'm happily married. And I've got a beautiful daughter. And I'm doing just fine. Then you can buy me a beer and we'll call it even. How's that sound, brother? How to go? The procedure is successful. Once he wakes up a little more, has a little more energy, we'll see if it works. Wow, it's exciting. Yeah, and terrifying. What do you mean? It's stupid. No, oh, what? This is a picture of Bashir's girlfriend before his last tour in Iraq. And this was the woman he was with before that. Notice any similarities? No. They're both gorgeous. He's never seen me. I never thought he would. I'm not like these girls. Natalie, I... you're beautiful. And you have something these girls don't have. Please don't say a good personality. He loves you. Okay. Are you ready to see your wife for the first time? I am. Are we all ready? Yes. I think so. What are you seeing? White. All white. Wait. Oh my god. What are you seeing now, Bashir? I see. Is that you, Natalie? What does she look like, Bashir? <gasps> She's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. 